Um, so we're just going to have a final like clean up moment with Yahweh and just do that. So everyone just um, close your eyes, whatever, however you decide to. And we're just going to repent. I'm just going to say, um, uh, I'll just leave the first one, but I want you to have a moment in your own words and language. So Yahweh, we just ask you to forgive us for uh, all the times that um, we know what you told us to do. We know that what you called us to, and we agreed instead with the impossibilities. When your word says that you're the God of the impossible, that nothing is impossible to them who believe. And so we repent for all the times we believed in the impossibilities of what you've called us to, the impossibilities of how to make it happen. When you didn't call us to answer that question, you called us to respond in obedience, and you said that you would bring the victory, that the battle is yours. And so we repent for all the times that we agreed um, with the lies of the enemy instead of agreeing with what you called us to. So take just 10 seconds right now or whatever. Just have your own quick moment to repent. Now I thank you that your word says that there is no condemnation unto those who believe. And so we break off the condemnation and the lies that need to try and come back and say, see, remember you did this, remember you didn't do this. And we just agree with heaven right now that we will not return unto you void. That just as you spoke us into the earth, and we are your word in the earth, just like you show us, but it was God and we are men. And we just say that we will not return unto you void, but that we will accomplish the thing that you called and created us to do. When you formed us in our mother's womb, when you knew us, when you had plans for us, when you specifically designed and made us, we just agree with heaven's blueprint for our life. We agree with the assignments that you've called us and created us to do. And for anyone struggling to hear his voice, we just tell you the truth and found in his word that he is the voice behind you telling you the way to go, that you should walk there in, and that you know his voice, and the voice of a stranger you will not follow. And so we plead the blood of Yeshua for all of us who declare that no weapon formed against us will prosper, that no harm will befall us, that no disaster will come near our homes and our dwelling places, and that the angels of heaven are encamped around the goddess to guard us and keep us in all our ways as we fashion for the next to We pray for travel and so that everything can come and back into where they are, and that they'll never be the same from this moment. They're walking into their victory. They're in it now. They're going with the new territory that they've taken. New opportunities will arise. New relationships are being formed and will present themselves. And we declare that we have all of you. We have all sufficiency for all things so that we reign with the